Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So uh, again, I'm sure many of you, I know many of you, are wondering where I've been. And from the comments on many of my videos, it would seem that uh, a good portion of you, or at least some, are angry. Uh, gossip and speculation has gone wild, it would seem, uh, with people thinking I've been abducted or that I'm in a hole somewhere in, in Venezuela hiding out or that I, I've, you know, had some sort of breakdown. And while I appreciate all of the uh, spectacular tales being told about me, I've already basically said in a couple of videos and on Twitter and Facebook basically what was going on over this past month or two. And I don't want to really get into it here other than to say I've had multiple family tragedies in the past months, one after the other, and I can only say that family, at the end of the day, takes precedence over everything else, and I simply could not work, wasn't in the mind frame to work, and I didn't just want to slap up videos when I wasn't 100% there. So that is why I haven't posted, and as things have finally started to calm down on that front, I will be quietly coming back to the channel, doing what I love to do, and doing what uh, all of you guys love to, to watch and to listen to, and that is all of the strange stuff happening around the world. And I'm, I appreciate all of you. I love you guys for sticking by me and understanding that sometimes things get rough for people, and you have to take a break to deal with those things, and then you come back. And boy, have I wanted to get back more than anything to doing this work. So with that, Let's go ahead and jump back into it with some news stories and uh, happenings that have been going on lately. The first of which I want to show you guys is a is a finding that my friend over at UFOSightingsDaily.com, Scott Waring, uh, discovered. He posted a video about it where he was going over some SOHO imagery. Now you guys know that we have these satellites that are orbiting our sun, taking constant photos or images and video of our sun, many different cameras and instruments. And so one day, Scott was uh, looking over the sun, and we've caught many UFOs on these cameras in the past. You're looking at some of those UFOs here, some of my favorites. Um, these things seem to proliferate around our sun, and, and will, in many cases will linger there, sometimes for days, weeks, even months, and they take a variety of shapes from things like these massive Star Trek looking ships, uh, like you're seeing here. Here you're seeing a, a capture of one of these elongated craft or cigar shaped craft. Uh, we see many of those. And it would seem that these uh, cylinder or cigar shaped craft are seen more than any of the other shapes. Um, this object, you can see lights on it, or lights reflecting, arms coming out, likewise. Here is another favorite of mine, of um, what definitely looks like some sort of mechanical craft, with various arms protruding from it at various lengths. And then we have the V-shaped, or triangular, objects that have been captured, and, and this relates to uh, what Mr. Waring has discovered. So we have one of the V-shaped objects captured here above the sun a few years back. Clearly a V-shaped object of some sort lingering uh, up to the right of the sun. Uh, here again we have another one of these sort of uh, V or triangular shaped ships. Uh, some of them look like shuttles or rockets. And that leads us to this finding that Scott made where it would seem that over a period of at least weeks to months, there was a black triangle UFO seen moving across the sun, at times disappearing into the sun and coming back out, but definitely looks like a, a black triangular shaped object of some sort. And well, I will play you a clip from his video and uh, you guys can tell me what you think and we'll talk more in just a second. So check this out something on the lens things on the lens will not traverse across the sun okay this object it actually moves across the sun and so i'm going to show you proof of that and i'm even going to show you the sun itself okay hold on let me show you okay let's get rid of this here is that triangle ufo is this amazing or what and i have it going all the way back to june 8th okay going back to june 8th 
And uh, yeah, I had to say that in my head. Okay, June 8th, and it's coming. As you see, it's moving across the sun. It's not the camera that's moving here. This is a close up of that certain area. And you can see this object, this object caught on the surface of the sun. And I believe it could be an alien spacecraft about the size of Earth's moon that's caught on the surface of the sun. Now it's black because it's cooler than the rest of the area of the sun. And I thought, well, maybe this is a black spot, but it's not, it's really not. I mean, the spots are huge. This is small, this is tiny. And this object looks like it's on the surface, the like it's on the lower orbit. Now imagine this, imagine something that was in the lower Earth's orbit. It would be, you know, maybe uh, a spaceship, an alien spaceship, and um, the spaceship is uh, caught in some kind of gravity, and it can't escape. Uh, sorry, the video here is a little bit uh, blurry. Let me clear that up a lot. But when I clear it up a lot, this is what happens. Look at the speed of this. Okay, did you catch that? <laughs> Probably not. I'm going to put it on a loop. There you go. Uh, this UFO just goes and travels across the surface of the Sun and as you see the Sun up here is showing you this where it is and down here it's showing you the time and it's going really really fast in just a matter of uh, months and everything that's just pretty amazing to me uh, look at that let me let me stop this UFO uh, right about here uh, okay so uh, if you guys want to watch the full clip uh, that Scott posted here. I will put the link down below so you guys can go and watch that. But I, I definitely think that uh, Scott is on to something here. It, it, to me, at the, at the very least, with all the info we have, it looks like one of these objects uh, that we've seen. And we've seen thousands of them proliferating around our sun, siphoning energy from it. Something has been appearing around our sun. I mean, that's for sure. And the evidence shows that, overwhelming evidence. So tell me what you guys think about this. We'll continue monitoring strange things around our sun. And if you capture something, send it in and uh, we will post it up. Now, likewise, talking of strange things captured around celestial bodies, here we have another video, this time posted anonymously to YouTube by someone who was getting a close-up telescopic shot of our moon and who captured what appears to be a fleet of objects passing behind it. Okay, so obviously, uh, from what we have here, there seems to be a grouping of objects captured via telescope passing behind the moon, not in front, but behind. And so, unfortunately, I don't have a location of who is behind the footage, so I can't 100% you know, say it's real, 100% say it's false, but as of right now, it looks pretty legit to me. I've, I've looked at a ton of telescopic footage over the years. But at the very least, while we're trying to figure out more about it, I thought I'd post it. You guys tell me what you think. I mean, we have been documenting these UFOs above the moon for years, uh, some of which we, we know for 100% fact are real and from real footage. For instance, I like to go back to the Apollo missions because we know that these were filmed by astronauts. They're part of the public record. And you have videos such as this, captured during the Apollo 11 mission. And this is film. This is 16 millimeter DAC footage captured on film of objects flying down into craters as the astronauts orbited the moon. And there were many more objects like this captured during the moon missions. And so tell me what you guys think of this new clip. I'll try to find some more information about it. And lastly today, in I guess you could call it strange weather news, uh, some images of originally massive lakes down in Mexico that have vanished or totally evaporated overnight, leaving locals totally stunned. Uh, in a new article here by strangesounds.org, jungle lakes evaporate and disappear completely in Mexico. It goes on to talk about the Metabaca Lake, which normally covers 220 acres, and how it dried up completely this past month, leaving cracked mud where the translucent waters normally reflect the surrounding jungle, and the local tribesmen travel by canoe. And while we are familiar 
with Mexican rivers and lakes suddenly disappearing underground into cracks or sinkholes, now we have these lagoons in the jungle that are completely drying up, evaporating, and disappearing. And experts say that this strange phenomenon is the result of an extended drought and rising temperatures in the region. And it's not just this lagoon. It has occurred in several areas of Mexico where up to six lagoons have suddenly dried up, leaving locals stunned and wildlife nowhere to go to where they actually have to go in and rescue uh, whatever wildlife has been left trapped in this muddy sludge where water used to be. And it's, it's definitely an eerie sight to see. Uh, anytime you have a river or a lake, or a lagoon in this case, suddenly dry up out of nowhere when it usually doesn't happen this way and even locals are stunned by it, then you know something weird has been happening around the globe. And so I'll let you guys, uh, you know, speculate more on that down below, but tell me what you think. I'll link to the article as well down below. One thing I can say is that even in my absence, uh, the strangeness has not stopped, and I know I have a lot to catch up on, so I just want to thank you guys again for your understanding that sometimes in life things happen and you have to take breaks, you have to, you have to be there for your family, and that's what happened in this case. I missed a lot, I have a lot to catch up on, but I hope you'll all stick with me as your number one source for strange and UFO related news happening both on and off the planet. I am Tyler with Secure Team. Thank you all for stopping by. Stay tuned, stay safe, and I will see you all back in just a bit.